Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. It's time to shine a light on our rowing teams here at the United States Naval Academy. The local product, Ian Dennis, joins us. And Ian, for you and your teammates, just what, what does it mean to still be competing right now, obviously with uh, graduation uh, coming up this weekend and uh, everybody all hyped up for that, but uh, you guys get a chance to still compete based on what the last year has been like for you and your teammates. Yeah. Um, right now it's, it's a really cool time on the yard, uh, seeing everything going on and literally being able to row through that, uh, as we go out to practice every day. I think it says a lot about the commitment of, uh, the people on our team and who go to the school in general, uh, especially the seniors who are still with us, uh, and preparing to compete at the IRA. And yeah, like you said, uh, mm -hmm. last year we didn't really get much of a season at all in the spring. Uh, and honestly, this fall and early spring, we weren't sure how much of a season we'd have either. So hearing that the IRA was going to happen and uh, being able to focus on the competition itself has been awesome. And it's really kind of uh, turned our season around uh, last year. You know, not being able to compete at all was definitely a bummer. And this year, I think that uh, it's just been it's been great being able to have this as kind of the end the capstone to a to a really good year. Mentally, what has the last year been like? Physically, that, you know, you know what you're doing technique wise and stuff. It's something you were doing, obviously, even before you came uh, to the Naval Academy. But mentally, what's the challenge been like in dealing with everything uh, that you've had to deal with here uh, as a student athlete? Uh, I think it's been a unique challenge this year. And I'm, I'm really glad to have such a large team uh and so many great friends on that team around me to kind of get through it all um i think it's you know it's been new and it's been unique for everyone um so everyone handled things a little bit differently but the focus was kind of always there from our team which was really what helped me um kind of navigate everything i guess so for me and i think the rest of my teammates we were able to kind of push through this year and just be able to appreciate the little things that we had because like I said before last year we didn't get a season at all and now having one has just been such a positive thing that everything else really hasn't been too bad. What are you looking forward to the most this weekend as you all head to New Jersey to, to compete and obviously uh, try and put the best result forward? Uh, I, I think the time trial is actually going to be interesting so normally at the IRA there's not a time trial but this year they introduced one because the seating has been a little bit different with uh, some teams being in and out throughout the season. So I think the time trial would be cool for us to get experience on the course before we actually move on to semis and then finals. I was going to say in a situation like that, I mean, we talk about, uh, you know, sometimes home field advantage and everything in, in terms of sports. How important is knowing the course uh, that you're obviously uh, going to compete at? Uh, you know, how helpful is that? Uh, as you get set to compete. Yeah, that's actually uh, something that gets overlooked a little bit, I think. Um, normally, the IRA switches between California and New Jersey. So this year, it's in New Jersey. Uh, it's a closer trip for us. And uh, it's familiar waters for a lot of people on our team who had high school rowing experience in the Northeast uh, or have raced just in the area before with Navy. So the water uh, actually is similar to the water on the Severn, which is definitely a big advantage for us. And just familiarity with the course itself uh, really helps. You know, it's nice to have those landmarks to look at and know how much longer you have left in the race uh, as you're going down the course. Being a local product at a Severna Park, you know, for some of your teammates uh, during the course of the year, they really can't go home. You had a period there for three weeks where Nobody could really go anywhere. How frustrating was that knowing that, you know, at least from time to time on the weekends, you could always have that buffer, uh, you know, being local and, and you couldn't even really utilize that uh, there for about a three or four week period. Yeah, it is a, a pretty interesting phenomenon being 10 minutes away from home, but not being able to go home at all. Um, it, it wasn't uh, too, too bad for me. You know, like I said, having a teammates there kind of create that support structure was really good. Um, and, you know, the times that I was able to get home uh, were times that I was kind of able to unwind. A lot of times teammates will come over here too. But uh, while, while I'm on the yard um, during the week and during that period, like you said, it's, uh, 
it was a good time to just kind of hunker down and focus on rowing, focus on school, focus on fitness, um, which wasn't always easy this year just because of all the uh, crazy things that were going on. Yeah, no doubt about it. We appreciate you taking some time for us and best of luck to you and your teammates as you get one more chance to compete coming up this weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.